Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Why do we see the phases of the moon? So the easy way to understand this is that uh, the phases are basically due to the arrangement between the earth, moon and sun. Uh, so depending on where the sun is with respect to the earth and moon, different portions of the moon are il illuminated in different amounts. And so as the year goes by, uh, you know, or I, as the month goes by, we see that the moon uh, goes from being only partially illum illuminated to fully illuminated to not illuminated at all. If you want slightly more detailed, uh, that's generally that that's the basic thing. Two things. You do you know that that we always see one face of the moon. We don't see the other face of the moon at all. You know that. Yes. Yeah. Why is that? That's because the rotation and the revolution. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Fact number two is that, as as in you simply see the moon uh, from reflected sunlight. Yeah. Okay. So now. If the face of the moon that we see is not able to reflect the sunlight, yeah, because yeah, whichever face of the moon that we see is not facing the sun, if that's the case, then you won't see the moon at all. It's the new moon. Okay. So, and 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 if if the, the opposite is uh, is the case, the if the face of the moon that we see is uh, facing the sun, okay, and is reflecting all the sunlight, then that's a full moon. Okay, anything in between is partial phases. That's how you, yeah. Does the phases of the moon have anything to do with its gravitational effect on Earth? Means that the full moon, is it the most gravity means? Its effect is the most on the Earth and while its new moon or only a crescent, it's less. Is it like that or it remains constant? That effect of the moon itself doesn't change. But what happens is when the moon is either new or full, the sun is also on the same side, right? So then you get a, a combination of gravitational effects which causes changes in the tides. So the effect of the moon itself is, is the same, but the relative position of the sun and the moon change and so that together the resultant effect changes. Yeah. Why we see moon larger when it is closer to the horizon? That's actually an optical illusion. Yeah. The moon is not actually larger near the horizon, though it appears larger. Have you have you actually checked if it's larger? One simple way of doing that is to hold a scale and see what's the size of the moon on the scale near the horizon and near the zenith. You'll find that the moon is the same size. People think it's uh, a more uh, psychological, uh, the way our eye and brain operates than anything to do with the moon or the horizon itself. Thank you. What is the blue moon? Uh, I think there are two blue moons actually. One is just a literary term. You know that the phases of the moon is about 29 days. It goes from full moon to full moon. So when you have more than one moon in a month, one full moon, more than one full moon in a month, they call it a blue moon. So that's that's what that's the reason that original sun once in a blue moon. It has nothing to do with uh, astronomy uh, or any atmospheric effect. The other blue moon is there are sometimes when you have a lot of smoke or uh, very fine dust in the air, you can have more scattering and the moon appears a lot bluer. Sometimes you must have seen when you look at the moon, uh, the shade of the moon. Sometimes you get a ring around it. Sometimes the, you know all kinds of different things. So these are all due to atmospheric effects and one of the blue moons is because of that atmospheric effect. In fact, when there's a volcanic explosion, you find that the moons have various shades uh, which causes, uh, caused by the ash and uh, dust.